Hi, this is Chris from PatchBay.com. I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of the Patch Beta SketchUp plugin that we've been developing recently in the office. Um, for those of you unfamiliar with SketchUp, it's a really powerful but quick to learn um, 3D modeling program released by Google. It's got a really wide user base and it has a, uh, an online library of components that make it really uh, make it a really attractive platform for doing um, 3D modeling in. And the reason we're interested in it is we're uh, looking at ways of visualizing some of the building information that's being stored and shared with PatchBay. And in this case, we've been monitoring a um, the water, gas, and electricity usage of a building. Um, and we can, I'm just going to demonstrate how you might use PatchBay to SketchUp to look, visualize in 3D using SketchUp the history of that information. So I'm just going to load the plugin using the console. You can make it load automatically if you like, but uh, it's easier for now. Um, and this is what the, um, the plugin looks like. Uh, the way the plugin works is it detects uh, a patch bay environment object inside of SketchUp. In this case, it's denoted by the patch bay flag here. And uh, by clicking on the flag and then cutting to the patch bay to SketchUp window, we can click on activate environment. And the plugin will ask the environment what objects it has inside of it that need to connect to patch bay. Uh, in this case, it's going to be some graphs that uh, will show the information about the usage of the gas and water and electricity. Um, as you can see in, in the console here, it's just loading this information from Patch Bay. Um, and the information it's getting is it's going to get the real-time values, at, but also the history of information going back all the way from when it was turned on. As a, uh, and was, in this case, it's about a month's worth of data. So you can see here it's loaded the data for uh, the... 1st of June. Um, let, we're going to skip forward to uh, today. Um, I'm just going to show you how to use this a bit. We can uh, cut through in 15 mi minutes uh, sections th through the history of this information. And this is showing you how the usage is changing over a 15 minute period, or an hour, or 24 hours. Um, but what's useful about this, and we can skip forward again, um, we can make comparisons between chunks of time, and get a feel for um, how the, the data is changing over the course of um, however long we're interested in. But the um, exciting thing is in this case that, that it's happening inside of a 3D modeling environment. And this allows you to feed into uh, an active design process that Patch Bay information. So stay tuned to the Patch Bay blog or the Patch Bay Twitter feed because we'll be releasing a couple more demos soon. The next demonstration will be how to build your own Patch Bay enabled components and environments inside of SketchUp. And then after that, we'll be talking about how you can use SketchUp to connect to PatchBay and send information to start using SketchUp as a building management controller.